The band strikes up a tune. But these buskers are not looking for change. They want all your money. Metro Bank, Britain's first new high street bank for more than 100 years, opens its doors, promising a revolution in customer care. Hi there. We're here to introduce the video presentation of strategic analysis of Metro Bank PLC, done by Theodorus, Michael, Abdullah and Olu. We're here to introduce Metro Bank. It first opened its doors for business in July 2010. It's the first UK high street bank that's opened for more than a century. Now has 8 stores and 25,000 customers. You have to love your bank at last. Their strategy is to transform the face of British banking by offering more cashiers, customer toilets, all about customer friendly experience every day. It was founded by Vernon Hill and Anthony Thompson. It's based on the successful commerce bank model that was established by Vernon Hill in 1973. Everything you hate about your existing bank is what we're going to change. We think you should be able to bank where, when and how you want the bank shouldn't tell you how to do it. Attractiveness. There is a strategic positioning map. We have organized our competitors in consecutive order with most branches first. Lois TSB holds the position with 2,800 branches. RBS, Barclays, HSBC and Santander have 1,300 branches. Finally, we have Metro Bank. We have eight branches with very much customer oriented strategy. The industry analysis. The banking sector is very much an oligopoly, unrestricted. However, there are obstacles to overcome when entering established and competitive markets. There is range of products and services. Few large firms that dominate the market and drive competition. There is potential economies of scale, strong competition among the large firms, and large firms keep an eye on each other and match competitive activities. Here we have the industry life cycle. For the banking sector, it's in a mature stage, where most companies are very well positioned and fitted into the marketplace with lower costs. However, there are examples of new entries into the market, such as Metro Bank, Virgin and Tesco. This leads us to think that growth in the industry may be still viable. For this five forces model, there is rivalry amongst existing banks, medium to high rivalry within the banking sector, as there is high availability within the marketplace. The threat of new entrants is low due to the high capital investment required and high barriers to entry. The threat of substitutes is low, supplier power is medium to low, buyer bargaining power is medium. Pest analysis, political and legal issues. Metro Bank's executives have had the important regulatory hurdles to jump before entering the British market. British economy is open to mix. There is not too much government intervention in business. However, due to crisis, drastic measures are taken. Metro Bank has been vetted carefully by the Financial Service Authority before allowing it to open. Their operations and business plans have further been scrutinized very carefully and thoroughly. Economical issues. In the UK has been in our story. There is um, an estimated 0.9% this year of growth. In time of austerity, after a huge slump in the business cycle, consumption declines, investment falls and production. There is a very high inflation rate, standing at 5.2% as measured by the Consumer Price Index. The currency of £1 is $1.6. The CBI is expecting unemployment to hit 2.75 million next year and there is a low GDP which leads to less consumer spending and less trust in banks. Eurozone's key member. Social cultural factors. People are more educated, however they have less time to spare. The internet is playing a big role in day-to-day -day life. They are looking for exceptional customer service and this might allow corporate social responsibility to be activated. There's a mix of nationalities in the UK. There's the technological developments uh, within the industry have caused serious changes in the way business is done. They have enhanced Metro Bank and allowed it to achieve a unique selling point due to the availability of the internet, the joint ATM network, giving its customers access to the entire UK cash machine network, they have high-tech secure software, single computer system for a streamlined control of all accounts, which this all creates a USP for Metro Bank as it allows employees to have a single view of customer affairs. Internal analysis, strengths and weaknesses of Metro Bank's overall strategy. What makes Metro Bank different? They have a very much unique offering 7 day opening and long hours and on the spot bank cards. Customer laboratories and gimmicks such as water bowls for dogs. Its models based on service and convenience, not product and price. 
um, which is a new credit card for purchases, balance transfers or cash tra advances, which is 0% for 12 months. The likes of Tesco, MBNK and Virgin Money will be looking to launch their own branch networks. Metro Banks has plans to increase its networks, so the high street could soon look very different. Metro Banks products and services. Or accounts can be managed online or over the phone, but what customers gain in service they lose in rates, as the products offered are in most cases a long way from being most competitive available. Saving accounts pays an unimpressive 0.5% on a minimum deposit of one pound. Mortgage offers less attractive than other banks. Metro Bank's pricing strategies and Boston's matrix analysis. Being new in this market, the price charged for Metro Bank's products and services is set artificially low in order to gain market share. However, its instant access savings account pays just 0.5 percent, while its three-year fixed rate savings bond offers 3.04 percent. When you can get more from their rivals. Next we go on to place the channel intermediaries retailer and high street banks. There's four stores open seven days a week, three hundred and sixty one days a year for Metro Bank. They're only closed on New Year's Day, Good Good Friday, Easter Sunday and Christmas Day. Their branches are located in Holborn, Earls Court and Fulham Broadway in London and Boroughmood in Hertfordshire. There's forty stores for twenty fourteen and around two hundred stores for twenty twenty. The positive effects, the strong personal relationship with the customer, a consumer will expect to be exposed to many products, offer credit to the customer, the products and services are promoted and merchandised by Metro Bank, the channel intermediaries, the internet, Metro Bank online, they expand geographically um, in the market, help to reach a wider audience, low barriers to entry as setup costs are low, use e-commerce technology, however we cannot open a Metro account online. Next we have Metro Bank's product. Metro Bank offers all the products you would expect. Current savings account, mortgages, loans, credit cards and business banking. Here we can see the core product benefits diagram and the customer life cycle diagram. Next we go on to the product life cycle. It's intro it Metro Bank is in the introduction stage. The need for immediate profit is not a pressure. The products are promoted to create awareness and are very much widely advertised and still in the growth stage. Next we're gonna have a look at the promotions mix. There's personal selling, sales promotion, public relations, trade fairs and exhibitions, advertising and sponsorship. Here we can see some physical evidence and real life examples of Metro Bank's promotions mix. There's the free coin counter, there's the website, there's Metro Man mascot, and the retail store. Next we're going to go on to the value chain analysis. It allows us to critically evaluate all internal strategies from different core business activities. It is a tool that can be used to determine where Metro Bank adds most value to their business process, hence achieve a competitive advantage. Next we can see the bank organogram. This is the main company structure. We have McKinsey 7S's. It's, it will help us. Here we can see McKinsey 7S's. We're going to focus on the structure, staff, and strategy of the company. There's a relaxed atmosphere within the company. So, why join Metro Bank? Well, there's great training and development by American specialists. You will be part of a revolutionary business retail proposition. Metro Bank's IT strategy. This is the strategic SWOT analysis with the different strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. The company strategies in short term and long term. Finally, we go on to the conclusions. Given the market structure, Metro Bank's decision to enter is risky. What is more the risk is heightened by the fact that Metro Bank has set itself ambition growth targets because the bank is implementing what some people might regard as an old-fashioned business model based on the provision of simple products, however differentiated by superior customer service. Recommendations In line with the strategic SWOT analysis and the value chain analysis, Metro Bank should consider their growth strategy. Once they've grown, how to then solidify customer base, queues that might form in branches, invest in workforce and customer service, they should keep innovating services in order to have a competitive advantage over rivals.
Thank you for listening and watching.